today, we'll be learning about how businesses effectively analyze their accounts receivables. To start off, a quick summary. In simple terms, accounts receivables refer to money that is owed to a company by its debtors. This could be customers or other businesses. For a company, it is beneficial for them to collect their accounts receivable within 30 days. However, this is not always the case due to other businesses failing to pay their bills or refusing to do so. Accounts receivable can be, can be recorded in two separate ways. The first one being the direct write-off method and the second being the allowance method. The three different ways in which businesses analyze their accounts receivable include the receivables turnover ratio formula, the days and receivables formula, and the allowance formula. The receivables turnover ratio formula is calculated by dividing the credit sales by the average receivables. This formula is useful as it compares the company's credit sales and their receivables. This formula measures a business's ability to effectively generate and collect receivables. The second formula is the days and receivables ratio formula. This is calculated by 365 divided by the turnover ratio, as we discussed before. This formula is significant as it allows a business to analyze how many days between the time of their first sale to the time they collect their accounts receivables. The higher the number in this formula, the better, as it means a business is collecting their accounts receivable more often. The allowance ratio formula is calculated by dividing the allowance for doubtful debts by their gross receivables. This is an important formula as it allows a business to measure the percentage of receivables that are expected to be uncollectible in the future. This allows a business to adequately prepare for the potential of a negative cash flow. For today's lesson, this is the example we shall be using. We start off with the receivables turnover ratio by finding the average receivables by plussing together the beginning and ending net account receivables and dividing them by two. We then divide our credit sales by our average receivables and end up with 1.63 rounded to do two decimal places. We then proceed to do the days and receivables ratio. This is calculated by doing 365 divided by 1.63. This gives us 223.92 days. Lastly, we do the allowance ratio. We do this by going 5,000 divided by 61,500 and times that by 100. This gives us 8.13%. This is the percentage of the business we'll have to write off. Well, that's all for today's lesson. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you learned something.